the second risk assessment control, cyber threat intelligence and vulnerability information is received from information sharing forums and sources. This is a, I would say, a slightly more mature control that smaller organizations aren't going to be able to adopt and take a total advantage of, but larger organizations definitely should and can and really should be doing this. I can't emphasize that enough. Some of the sources that you have for, uh, for this. If you are within the financial services or the healthcare or retail, you have an ISAC, an information sharing and analytics center available to you. You should be a member of that and drawing information and threat intelligence from that group. You should be able to uh, enroll in DHS. They have a platform called the AIS, which is an information sharing capability, and you should try to get access to that. There are a number of commercial tools and even just commercial data sources that are available to be able to pull this information in. And then of course you have open source intelligence gathering that you yourself can go do or leverage from other open source technologies and platforms. Alien Vault um, is one that comes to mind that is uh, really great. There are a number of websites out there as well that have this information, along with the InfoSec space and community within Twitter, uh, gladly sharing information as they see it, as well as Facebook itself has an information sharing capability. The goal really is out of any of these inf uh, components is to feed that information into your organization in some way, and then have that ideally manifest itself into a tool that you are using to understand all of this threat intelligence, this vulnerability information, and then using that inside of your own environment to identify systems, platforms, IOCs, vulnerabilities, really whatever it is, this is what it's then searching for. Taking all this information in manually, and then searching for it is not really effective. In, in fact, if that is your only capability, I would probably stall a little bit on ingesting and working on a platform or implementing something that you can then use to uh, create, ingest, and then manage effectively the intelligence that you are getting. Now, there's an entire discussion out there around uh, this and and the maturity, the confidence level out of some of these. This is really a mature um, control to have to go after, but knowing about what is going on out in the world um, made uh, available to you by the sources can make you more secure because you aren't waiting for something to impact you. You're taking information that is available and happening to others inside of your space. Um, the ISACs are a perfect example for this. If you are in banking and you are part of the financial services ISAC, you're going to learn from the other banks what they're being targeted by what, what exactly is being targeted as well. Say it's a specific vulnerability or a specific type of a threat. You're going to be able to get that information because other banks inside of that sector are going to be seeing that happening, sharing with the ISAC, and then thus sharing with you. So you can learn from your peers, even your competitors, what is happening within the space to then make your organization better. Later on, there are other controls that allow for and really kind of show sharing back into these spaces. That again is another really mature organization's task and capability that is a control that not everyone will be able to adopt or meet and that's okay this is where you want to start so if you can pull this information in if it's from your vulnerability scanner if it's just from your firewall and your ips or ids system if it's again from just keeping an eye on the news keeping an eye on different sources using that information to inform you about what you should be focusing on, where you should be focusing on, and thus where you should be making investments so that you can address the risks that are happening within the rest of the global community.